While working in my office, I receive emails from various people on different subjects. When managing these emails, I want to move them to a specific folder based on various conditions. I usually do this manually and also use the rule function and the new search folder option. Most of the time, these available features fail to respond correctly or do not provide precious results. Consequently, the email I intend to move to a specific folder are often misplaced or improperly stored. After extensive research, I develop that Microsoft Power Automate can assist in resolving these issues efficiently. In this video, I will guide you through the process of using Power Automate to automate the movement of emails to a specific folder. This will save you time and reduce the manual efforts involved in email management. Now let's develop our flow and perform some preliminary activities to meet the requirements. So first open outlook.com and log in with your credentials. You now have two options. You can either create a new folder to which you want all your emails to be moved or you can use an existing folder that you have previously created and is currently isolated. So I prefer to create a new folder. So when I scroll down a little bit, I will see create new folder from the left navigation section. Click on it. Now name your folder. For instance, I name it emails from bank click on save and your new folder with emails from bank is created next you have to type make.powerautomate.com in your browser now this will take you to the power automate website and you can very easily create a flow over here so if you are a new user of power automate the interface may seems complicated at first However, it is actually very simple to operate. To begin, click on the create option available in the left navigation section. Now at the top, you can check out few trigger options to execute the flow. In this case, I click on instant cloud flow. You can also use automated cloud flow to set up to trigger on a regular basis automatically. However, I will currently demonstrate how to use instant cloud flow to move emails to a separate folder. Now you will see a dialog box titled build an instant cloud flow. The first step is to name your flow. So if you want Power Automate to generate the name for you, you simply press escape from the bottom. But I name it move emails. The next step is to decide how you want to trigger your flow. So you have multiple options available. Simply use manually trigger a flow and then click create from the bottom. From this point onwards, you need to be very careful. Each step and selection you make will lead to a specific outcome. To achieve the desired result, you must be precise and clear in your choices. So you will be redirected to the blank canvas where you can see manually trigger a flow. To add a step, click on this plus just below this option and then select add an action. This will open a new window. Here you need to type get emails in the search area. You will see multiple options, but you need to select get emails v3. Now after selecting get emails v3, you will see a several conditions that you need to be carefully examined and select to achieve the desired result. So first click on show all next to the advanced parameter option. This will allow you to view all the available options. You will see conditions such as only with attachments, subject filter, folder, email address from, 
and fetch only unread messages. You can modify these settings by clicking on them. To demonstrate its functionality, let's focus on subject filter. For example, I will type test in the subject filter. Then I will send an email to myself with the subject line test. When I trigger this power automate flow, the email will automatically move to the folder I created earlier named emails from bank. Now the next step is to click on this plus symbol again and then click on add an action. Now it's time to move your emails. So simply type move emails in this search bar and you will see few options. Now you have to select this move emails v2. This option is also added as a next step. Now the next step is to look into the parameters. You will see message ID and folders. First select the message ID and you will have two parameters here, a lightning bolt icon and this formula. So you have to insert dynamic content, which will open multiple options for you to choose from. There is only one option here, get emails. Click on see more to expand all the options here. Now select message ID from here. Now this is message ID added here. Now the next is you have to select folder. Now for the folder option, click on this folder expander and you will see all your folders which are available in your email. So I have to select email from bank, which I have already created for this. Select it and this folder is added here. Now finally, you can save this flow by clicking on this save button available in the top navigation area. Now click on this go back option and you will be redirected to my flows. Now this is my flow. Now the next step is you have to click on this run button, which is available on the top navigation section. Now the next step, I need to click on this play button which is available on the top navigation section to run the flow. So when I click on this play, a small section appears here. Everything look perfect here. Click continue. Now here you have to finally click run flow. Now your flow runs successfully started. To monitor it, go to the flow run page. Finally click done. Now your emails that matches your specific criteria will be moved to the designated folder and when you check your inbox you will see that the desired email is no longer there by clicking on the designated folder you will find the emails have been moved as expected this confirm that your flow is working properly and you are achieved the desired results so in this method the only problem i faced is i have to trigger this flow manually. So most of the time the emails I receive are essential and arrive daily, leaving me exhausted from manually moving them to various folders. To streamline this process, I sought a solution that keeps emails in my inbox for two to three days for review before automatically moving them to their designated folder. So I have created a new folder to move the emails into after two days. The next step is to create a scheduled cloud flow that triggers automatically at the specific time. This flow will run daily and move emails older than two days into a designated folder. So here I'm not talking about all the emails, the emails which are specified by their subject are designed to move in their designated folder. So log in to your Power Automate with your credentials. I have already logged in. Once you logged in, navigate to the create option in the left navigation section. Now here you will again check out few flows. So select 
scheduled cloud flow. You will then see build a scheduled cloud flow screen which consists of several fields you need to fill out. So first flow name. So I name the flow move emails every two days. Now I need to provide information to schedule this flow. First I set up a start date. So today is 28th of July 2024. I keep it today's date only. And I also need to specify the time. So I select 10 a.m. which is already given here. In case you want to change it, you can use this drop down list and select your specified time. Next, I want to flow a repeat daily. So to do this, I select one which is already by default given and then choose day from the drop down menu. This means the flow will automatically run every day at 8 am starting from today. As a result, you can see that this flow will be triggered daily. Now click on the create to proceed and add some additional information. Now again, you will see a blank screen with the recurring option over here. Click on this option to open the parameters. It's essential to fill in the necessary information to meet your requirement. Starting from the interval, it is already set to one and the frequency is set to days, which is also pre-selected. You can change the frequency by clicking on the drop down menu and change it from here directly. Next, you need to select the time zone. This is very crucial because the time zone determines when the flow will activate based on your location. Since I am from India, I select my appropriate time zone for my region. So I select UTC plus 530, Chennai, Calcutta, Mumbai and New Delhi. This is my time zone. While the internal and frequency is mandatory, the rest of the information is not as crucial for Power Automate. After filling the necessary details, click on the blank screen again and just below the recurring, you will see a plus sign. Click on the sign and add additional information. So you will see an option label add and action. Click on it and to retrieve emails from Outlook, select get emails. And from these three options, I choose get emails v3. So click on it and you will see a form with multiple parameters over here. Some options do not require any changes, but let focus on the important ones. So the first one is folder. The default folder is set to inbox. If you need to change this, select the folder from which you want to move the emails. So the second is fetch only unread messages. By default, this is set to no. Change this to yes from the drop down menu to fetch both read and unread messages. Third is include attachment. By default, setting is no. Once again, I recommend changing this to yes so that emails with attachments are included. Select yes from the drop down menu. I have selected and change it to yes. Now, next is search query. To show this, click on show all and you will see search query over here. So, it's a very important step. So, here you need to simply type received it's a search query now click here that will open this function dialog box here you need to type get past time bracket two because i need to give the interval of two days so i type two comma day 
and simply hit add. Now this is your search query. Once you have updated this settings, you are ready to proceed to the next step. Now under get email v3, you will see a plus symbol. Click on it and then get add an action. To move the emails to a different folder, search for move emails. So I type move emails in the search bar and you will see three options over here. Now select move emails v2 and add it by clicking on it. Next you will see message id and folder as mandatory parameters. So click on the message id then click on this to select and here you will see get emails v3 from the available options. There is only one option and scroll down to find message id. See all. Now you will see message id. Simply click on it. Your message id is added here. And for the folder option, select the folder you previously created where you want the emails to be moved after two days. So simply click on this expander and you will see a list of all available folders in your email account. Find and click on your email from bank. In my case, it's email from bank folder. In your case, it might be different and it will be added in the folder field. So this step ensure that emails will be automatically moved to your specified folder after two days. Finally, click on save and relax. I have created a scheduled flow. So there is no need to activate it manually. This fully automatically flow will work on its own, moving your specified emails to the designated folder after two days. You can also use this flow checker to identify any errors. In my case, I have zero errors. If you find any error, you can easily fix them. This is the basic and simple power automate flow that will run every day without fail. If you need to pause the flow, you can easily use it the stop button to hold it. The stop button is over here. When you click on my flows and you will see this option, you can simply click on this more commands and you can turn off this flow very easily like this. So in this video, you have learned how you can very easily move your specified email in a different folder. You can use two options over here. Either you can use manually or you can use scheduled feature of Power Automate. So if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you. And